Hello and welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn about balancing of equation. This topic is under ICSE standard 9 syllabus from the chapter 1. In standard 8 we have already learned that how to balance a chemical equation. Here we are revising the concept and the chemical equation which we are going to solve will have a plus 1 difficulty level compared to standard 8. So let us quickly revise it and we will solve some of the important question regarding it. So here I have mentioned one equation. Potassium when react with carbon dioxide it will give us potassium oxide and carbon. So what is our first step to balance an equation that we will write all the atoms from reactant side and from product side. So we have here potassium, carbon and oxygen. We have one potassium, we have one carbon and we have two oxygen. Where in product side we have two potassium, one carbon and only one oxygen. So we need to balance here potassium and oxygen. Let us first balance the oxygen. First we will balance oxygen. Here oxygen are 2 whereas here oxygen is 1. The first rule of balancing of equation is you cannot add anything over here. This is wrong. You cannot add anything here down. If you want to add, you can add here. That means you can add only molecule. You cannot add any atom. And practically to add one atom into a reaction, it is not possible. So you cannot add any atom. Always you can add in front of the reactant or product. Here you cannot add anything. So you cannot add here too. Always you have to add a whole number over here. So we have to balance this oxygen. So we have this side two oxygen whereas here we have only one oxygen. So if I will add here two. So my oxygen is balanced from both the side. 2, 2. My oxygen is balanced. But now my potassium has changed. That it has become 4 over product side. But whereas at the reactant side it is only 1. So if I will add here 4. Then my potassium will also balance. And here no need to balance. Because carbon is 1. And carbon is 1 here. Let us calculate again this. 4 potassium, yes, 2 into 2. Now, whenever you are adding 2 and K and 2, then this 2 and this 2 you have to multiply. That many amount of that atom is there in your reaction. So, 2 into 2, so 4. So, our potassium is balanced. Now, carbon. Carbon we have here 1 and here also it is 1. So, it is also balanced. Now oxygen, 2 oxygen is here and this 2 goes with this oxygen also. When we are writing 2 K2O then this 2 will apply to this and this 2 will apply to oxygen also. So for K we are multiplying 2 into 2 and for oxygen it is only 2O. It is like this. So this 2 will go with oxygen. So how many oxygen we have? We have 2 oxygen. 2. So oxygen is also balanced. So our equation is balanced. So balanced equation is 4 potassium plus carbon dioxide gives us 2 molecules of potassium oxide plus carbon. This is our balanced equation. Now let us solve some of the questions. We will solve first question. 
Here in the equation, it is iron chloride. Then chloride will give us iron chloride. This is iron 2 chloride. This is iron 3 chloride. So this is ferrous chloride. This is ferric chloride. So in this, let us see that how many ions we have. So Fe we have 1, Cl we have whenever it is like this, you have to add this to Cl. So 2 plus 2. So how many total Cl we have? 4 Cl towards reactant side. Now towards product side we have 1 Fe and we have 3 Cl. So first let us try to balance chlorine. So if I will add here 2, if I am adding here 2, then how it is going to change? Fe will become 2 now and Cl will become 2 into 3. So Cl will become 6. Now Fe is 2 and Cl is 6. So here we have Fe1 and Cl4. If I will add 2 here. Then now my Fe is 2. And how many Cl's I have? 2 into 2. So 4 Cl plus 2. Here it will become 2 into 2 and this plus 2. So how many Cl I have? 4 plus 2, 6 Cl. So 2 Fe and 6 Cl. So my equation is balanced. So what is my balance equation now? 2 Fe Cl2 plus Cl2 gives us 2 Fe Cl3. Whenever you are balancing an equation, you will not get correct answer in first try. By trial and error, you are adding the molecules over here to a product side or to a reactant side and you will get correct answer. So with little bit more practice, with hands-on experience, you will get this. But the practice is very important in balancing of an equation. Second equation. In second equation, the equation is calcium hydroxide will react with nitric acid and gives us calcium nitrate and water. So let us note down all the atoms towards reactant side and towards product side. So first calcium, oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen we have already written, oxygen we have already written. So remaining is nitrogen. So how many calcium we have? One calcium, oxygen, two oxygen. This bracket will apply to oxygen and hydrogen both. So this two will applicable to oxygen and hydrogen. So two oxygen is here. But we have to count this also. So three oxygen this and two oxygen is this. So two plus three. It is five oxygen. Then hydrogen. This two will applicable to Hydrogen also. So 2 hydrogen here, 1 hydrogen here. So total 3 hydrogen. Then nitrogen. So nitrogen is only 1. Now towards product side, calcium, oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen. Calcium we have 1. Oxygen we have 2 into 3. This 3 into 2 equals to 6 plus 1. So we have 7 oxygen, then hydrogen, 2 hydrogen and nitrogen, this 2 will applicable to nitrogen also. So we have 2 nitrogen. Now if we will see by this, then we have to balance all except calcium. So if we will see here first, the nitrate is 2 here. So let us first balance nitrate. 
so if we are balancing this nitrate then we are balancing nitrogen and oxygen together nitrate is 2 here just don't look at this calcium we are talking about this nitrate no3 2 so nitrate are 2 here two nitrates are there so here we have only one nitrate no3 is 1 so 1 no3 here but here 2 no3s are there so let us balance this nitrate first so if we are balancing nitrate here and if we are writing 2 here then let us count all these things again now we have 2 hydrogen and 2 hydrogen so we have now 4 hydrogen right then nitrogen we have 2 nitrogen oxygen we have 6 oxygen here plus 2 so 8 oxygen we have 2 into 3 6 and 2 so 8 oxygen and calcium is already 1 now let us go towards this side still we need to balance according to this so we have to balance oxygen we have to balance hydrogen our nitrogen is balanced now if you will see 2 and 2 so we have to balance only this 2 oxygen and hydrogen so we have 4 hydrogen here and we have 2 hydrogen here so if we will add here 2 more here it is 4, here it is 2. If we will add 2 here. So where you can add 2? Here. If we will add 2 here, then we have now 4 hydrogen and how many oxygen? Let us count it again. 3 into 2. So 6 oxygen from here and this 2 is applicable to this oxygen also. So plus 2 equals to 8. Now if you will see that oxygen 8, oxygen 8, hydrogen 4, hydrogen 4. So our equation is balanced. Third question. This is relatively very very easy equation. By looking at this equation you will get to know that which two atoms we need to balance. Zinc will react with hydrochloric acid will give us zinc chloride and hydrogen. Here if you will see that zinc is 1. Zinc is 1. The Cl is 2 here whereas hydrogen is also 2 here. So Cl is 2 and hydrogen is 2. Here we need both the atoms 2. Because here they are 1. So if we will simply add here 2, our equation is balanced. Again, whenever we are looking at the equation, so first see what all atoms need to be corrected. So zinc is 1, zinc is 1 here. Hydrochloric acid, here it is there. So 1 hydrogen, 1 chlorine is here. But here 2 chlorine and 2 hydrogens are there. So both are 2 whereas they both you will get here in one compound and it is 1. So simply when you add 2 here our equation is balanced. Fourth equation. Potassium bromide will react with chlorine and give us potassium chloride and bromine gas. So here this is our equation. Let us note down the atoms of reactants. So potassium, then bromine and then chlorine or bromide or chloride. Here potassium, bromide and chloride. Please try to maintain the sequence how you have written towards the reactant side. The same sequence you have to maintain towards the product side. So whenever you are comparing, it will be easy for you. So we have one potassium here. We have one bromide here. 
but we have two chlorine here. Here one potassium chlorine is one, but the bromine is two. So by look at this, we know that we have to balance bromine and chlorine. So if our bromine is two here and chlorine is two here, let us go from left hand side to right hand side. Chlorine is two. So if I will add here two, then my chlorine will be balanced. Here I will write the new atoms, the number of new atoms. So now my potassium is two and my chlorine is two. It is balanced now. Chlorine two and two is balanced. But by doing so, I have disturbed the balance of potassium. So I have to balance again potassium here. So here potassium is 2. So now I will balance potassium towards reactant side. So my potassium is 1. So I will add here 2 and I will make my potassium 2. So my potassium is balanced 2, 2. This was earlier. Now my bromine. Let us check bromine. Now my bromine is 2. Earlier it was 1. So my bromine is balanced now. When I balanced my potassium, the bromine is automatically balanced. So my bromine is balanced now. Now let us check for chlorine. 2 chlorine and this was earlier. So 2 chlorine. So my chlorine is also balanced. So this is my balanced equation. 2 KBr plus Cl2 gives us 2 KCl plus Br2. The fifth reaction. By looking at this reaction, you can see that towards product side, we have 2 chlorine and 2 hydrogen. Whereas towards the Reactant side we have HCl. This both atom together and that two in one. So we can add here two and our equation is balanced. Some more equations I have given in the description. So you can practice more with those equations and by trial and error method you can solve those equations. Along with those equations I have given answers also.